hello everybody welcome back to my channel i am coming in today as you can tell by the title this will be a relatively quick video i'll go into a probably a different type of review in my October makes video but I wanted to show you my entries for the cozy cardi challenge um, hosted by um, Amanda I sew a lot and the stitch sisters I'm sorry if I'm saying that wrong but I'll put their information um, in the description box below so I'm wearing one of my cardigans but I will start with first I made three and I actually changed up the ones that I was going to make except for one if you saw my plans video for the um, challenge so let me show you the first one and then I'll tell you share a little bit about each of the cardigans um, the first one I want to share is this one and let me move over here this is the Sinclair patterns candy um, cardigan and I absolutely love it it is a long sleeve which I do love. And then on this one, this is a um, Ponte. This is a Ponte I bought from uh, Fabric Mart. Fabric Mart. Um, and so here it is. It's a chocolate cup uh, color. And that, this one I added the pockets. And I added pockets on this one um, because it's a more stable knit. So I knew the pockets, you know, I didn't want anything where the pockets start drooping or looking a little funny. And it has the drape look where it kind of hangs open and I'll show a video um, soon soon here um, a couple things I did make adjustments for on all of the cardigans so you know up front I made adjustments for the bust waist and hip here's the caveat I didn't make my normal full adjustment because all of these have a slight drape to them so I didn't want to overdo the adjustment knowing that I'm using a knit and it looks too sloppy or baggy much like <laughs> the kimono I made if you saw that several months ago um, so and yes I do have my tag in there now for my my makes um i boy because i made a skirt from this as well so i'll show that in my makes video this is all about the cardigans but by the time i got to the cardigan after i made the skirt boy was i stretching it for fabric so this here is actually i cut the pattern piece in half and then sewed it back together so it kind of gives it that I don't know what you call that look like a seam <laughs> in the sleeve it still looks nice it doesn't look wrong at all but that's what I had to do because I was running out of fabric and I was like no and so um, as you can tell by the video I'll pop up the video here it is nice. it's a very nice length on me I am 5'7 and so for me as you can tell where it hits the skirt that I have on and so for the videos that I'll show you today those will be just short clips is not necessarily how I would pair or wear um, the cardigan maybe in a couple situations I most certainly can't actually the way I wore them all in the video I really could wear them but I didn't make any of these cardigans to wear them how I wore them in the video it was just so my husband can record so he can start watching football <laughs> but anyway so yes that's the first one the one the cup the one thing i learned the only thing that was a challenge for me for this one was the i've never done a miter corner but look at that baby she is beautiful so i absolutely love doing this miter corner i absolutely love the pattern too i really do each i love cardigans so it was very i was excited about doing this challenge because i absolutely love cardigans and so I had no problem with trying a bunch of different cardigans and this one I will make again I will most certainly make it again I will make it in this same type of fabric or a let or or more drapier fabric I don't know that I will go uh, any thicker than a ponty knit just to make sure that you know this lays right and everything like that but I absolutely loved it and I just finished it the way they suggested in the um in the pattern so I love it love the way it looks the second one I made is the one that I have on this is the Edie cardigan and this is and you can you'll see it in the video but just so you can see because I have it on today I absolutely love this now let me share with you something that was new for me for this video and that was the sleeve pattern was on the fold 
and I'm I've never cut out a sleeve pattern on the fold before um, with the Amaya there were four four or five pieces for this it was only three this is this um, Oh, I'm sorry, I didn't tell you who this was by. Valentine and Stitch, the Edie cardigan. And um, just three pieces, very simple and easy to put together. But let me tell you about the customer service. Helen and Rich are absolutely amazing because I was so confused about how to put the pattern piece together <laughs> because it was on the fold and I always make adjustments um, for my sleeves um, up here. Um, I just reached out and just asked a couple quick questions and they were absolutely phenomenal and just answered my question right away. And it was, you know, simpler than I thought it was gonna be um, to allow me to make my typical um, adjustments on my pattern. Same thing here, bust waist hip, but I didn't make the full adjustment that I normally would excuse me for a woven because it's a knit as you can tell it fits beautifully the sleeves are long actually the sleeves are long on all of these which I love um because it I mean if it came out like this then I have to wear <clears throat> extra arm candy which is not a problem but I like that all of these are down low like this you know I can still wear my arm candy um you know push it up a little bit but I love the way it hangs the fabric I use this is from uh, Fabric Mart, uh, Fabric Mart, yes, this is from Fabric Mart, a very lightweight knit, um, again, for this, for the Edie cardigan, I probably wouldn't go heavier, um, maybe a Ponte, maybe a Ponte is the thickest I will go with the Edie cardigan, just because it has such, and you'll see in the video that's showing, um, it has such a beautiful drape, and so, for me, it fits absolutely lovely, and what I'm loving about all of them, and what I'm loving about this, now this, you see here, I just have on the wrong bra. I have different types of bras, some with skinny straps, some with thicker straps. And today, I have on one with a thicker strap. So I would normally wear the one with the thinner strap, and you wouldn't even see my bra strap there. But what I absolutely love about all of these cardigans, including this, is that it drapes across my breast area. And so, because I don't like when cardigans, you know, fall like this. And you just feel like you just all out there. No, I don't like that. I like that all of these just naturally just drape right down the middle. And this one in particular has a very nice silhouette along my hip line. And so hip and waistline. And as you can tell in the video, it just it's just beautiful. Beautiful, beautiful, beautiful. Thank you so much, Helen and Rich, for your wonderful customer service. As you can tell, she fits beautiful. Love my Edie. Now, last but not least, um, oh, and I didn't have any issues sewing. The Amaya already sh shared with you what was new for me was the Miter Corners. This one, so simple. There was nothing new in the pattern that I struggled with. Um, very easy. I will say this will be the easiest out of the three. And I'll um, round them up at the end. But let me share with you the final. <sighs> Everybody. I promise, practically everybody I watch on YouTube, everybody I follow, I promise it feels like on Instagram, did this pattern. And yes, I'll pop it up. It's the uh, Helen's Closet Blackwood Cardigan. And I was like, and you know what? I didn't buy it until, what is today? Today is October 29th, Sunday, October 29th. I didn't buy this till a week and a half ago. And y'all know I'm not about that cutting and pasting life with PDFs. I do not like that. So I had to send it out <laughs> for print. And I got it. It came in the mail yesterday. And yes, yesterday I traced, cut, and sewed up the Blackwood cardigan. And I love it. I know why everybody loves it. Again, it's another one that drapes beautifully across the front, as you'll be able to tell from the video up front. And, and also, if you can tell in the video, my sleeves are definitely longer in this because you add this cuff, and I love it. I love it. Um, I do. I absolutely love it. And um, this, for the Maya and for the Edie, I made bottoms to go with them skirts and you'll see that in my makes video this one i know what skirt i'm going to do i just haven't done it yet that's going to be 
probably part of my November makes. Could be December. We'll see. But I absolutely love this. was so easy to sew up. All of them were very easy to sew up. This one is a very drapey fabric knit. If you remember my big, big haul I did, uh, this came from that fabric store in Arizona, Sass Fabrics. And so... Um, this is where I got this, and this is very drapey, as you can tell. So I did not add pockets on here because I didn't want the pockets to look droopy or look saggy for whatever reason. But overlocked, surged everything. Of course, got my little, see my little tag in there? <laughs> got my tag in there. Um, but love it. Love This was so easy. Tricky parts, no tricky parts. Only thing I messed up on and be mindful of this when you're sewing um drapier ones like this is that um I pulled on the neckband piece too much when I was um when I was sewing it up and I had to cut off like two inches of it because it was way it was way longer than it needed to be and that was for me stretch on it too much and um when I uh first ironed it out so and the bottom band piece, love it. This, I mean, all of these were absolutely amazing cardigans. Love them all. Um, the easiest, I would say, let me rank them for you. The easiest is the Edie. If you want something just real quick, easy, put together, go for the Edie cardigan for sure. Valentine and Stitch. The second, I would say, is probably the Blackwood cardigan. Um, and again, it, the only thing that might be, uh, a challenge if you've never done cuffs, but it's really easy. It's really easy. I would say this is the second easiest. The third is the Amaya, I'm sorry, the, um, I made the Amaya skirt to go with this. That's why I said that, but the Sinclair pattern, um, candy cardigan. And the only reason I say that is if you have never done a miter corner, this was, I had to watch a YouTube video <laughs> um, and to see how to do it. And if I remember, I think I, I it's still, I may have saved the video in my on the list. I'll put it down below how to, yeah, it'll be down below how to do miter corners. Easy, easy, easy. It was so easy. And I had to practice like on some paper first because I just didn't get it at first. I'm like, what? Cut this? What? Flip that? Huh? Um, yeah. So... For me, that's how I would rank these, is that this will be the most challenging only because of the miter corners. Only because of the miter corners. And so, will I be doing these again? Absolutely. All three of them. I probably would do the Edie when it starts warming up. And I say that lightly because I live in Texas. It doesn't get crazy cold here anyway. But <laughs> I'm thinking something like this. I might wait till the spring um and this is perfect for a summer day out to to do this up again unless i decide to do it in ponte if i do it in the ponte which i can i would i would definitely do it again um here soon um the uh candy cardigan absolutely i will do it again and will and do plan on doing all of these again the blackwood absolutely i love these cuffs i love the bottom band and i plan to do this now this one you can actually do in different i think it's easy to do in different weights like i want to do a chunky like a real chunky sweater in the blackwood because i don't have to worry about it draping a certain kind of way i don't i think it will be very like all of all of them drape beautifully in the front but this has you know the ed has a flow at the bottom this has the nice flow um at the top this is kind of a little straight up and down and so for a very light knit like this as well as something real chunky for sure i can see doing this so that's it those are my entries for the ed cardigan thank you so much for tuning in if you have any questions please leave them in the comments below and I think that's it. That's all I got. Thank you, everybody. Have a blessed week. And we will see you next weekend. And I next week, Sunday, I will have my October makes video. And I'm surprised I did a lot. So make sure you subscribe. Stay tuned and come back next week and check it out. All right, everybody. Have a blessed one. Bye.